All right, you guys. So I didn't get any filming done at the desk or anything this morning. Got got a different hat and cowl on today. Still in the big coat because it is 28 degrees. <laughs> I was up at 5:30, which is well. I woke up at 4:30. I didn't get out of bed till 5:30. Far more normal than 3:30. Thank you guys for the concern at me being up so early. But I'm gonna get my walk in and I gotta go to the grocery store and the post office. And I think I'm pretty much done for the day. I've got to actually cook dinner because Troy doesn't want turkey again. But uh, other than that, I hope you guys are having a great morning and I will see you in a bit. All right, guys, so we're at the tail end of my walk now. I actually made it five miles. I'm rather pleased with myself. I did run into some neighbors to talk to, so it makes the time pass a little bit better and you kind of forget how cold you are. Now, I'm getting kind of hot in my coat. This is why I wear the fleece normally. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to like, change jackets before I run my errands. Oh man, the sun's right in my eyes. Normally I wear my sunglasses, not my regular glasses. Eh. Yeah, so I'm going to have to change coats before I run errands because I'm getting kind of hot now. It's still only 32 degrees, but I got body heat now. All right, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. I made it back from the store in one piece. <laughs> Somehow I managed to do this. I'm not sure how, but I did make it back in one piece. I uh, went to the Harris Teeter on the way to the post office instead of my neighborhood Harris Teeter. And let me just tell you, there's some crazy, crazy people in that store. Uh, so I'm going to unpack my groceries. I am going to make my cup of tea for the day, which is a matcha green tea, and I'm looking forward to that, and I'm going to have myself a turkey sandwich. So I will come back in a little bit and share with you guys what came in my mailbox. I got some exciting stuff in there, I think, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Okie dokie, you guys. So I let myself eat, which <laughs> totally was necessary. Nobody wants to get a hangry carry. So, I ate my lunch. I still haven't made my cup of tea, but I do have my dessert sitting here. But I went ahead and broke into the box that was in my P.O. box today. So, I got the Traveling Fiber Surprise Box. And I'm going to share with you guys what I took out. So, we've got a Simply Crochet Hooked on Handmade magazine. And I'm sorry, even if it was just for the Amigurumi guy here, the little monster guy, I still would have taken this out. But <clears throat> really cute. I grabbed three teas. I got the Be Happy, the Zen, and I love their ginger tea, by the way. And then I thought I'd try this one. Because I haven't tried that before. And I like flowers. I don't know why. I just bought... Lavender paste extract, paste style extract the other day. Love it. And then there was... <laughs> this poor thing looks like the ones that I have downstairs. So I have blue and white, like a turquoise blue color of this. It's the Soft and Sleek DK. Um, and I think this would actually look really nice with the blue that I have. So I went ahead and pulled this out. I think this is only one ball, but I've got plenty of it down there in the craft room. So we got that. But not only did I get the traveling surprise box, fiber surprise box today, I also got a Christmas card from Alicia. And Alicia, I know you watch like 98% of my videos. So can I just say, while it's not handmade, you totally nailed my aesthetic. And I think it's fantastic. I am such a sucker, and particularly for Christmas, for that retro vintage vibe, and I totally love this card. <laughs> so, I am going to go, look, dude, my carpet's not even really that dirty. Oh, well, it does look like somebody spilled some coffee grounds over there. 
Maybe somebody tracked something in that I didn't realize. Which would probably mean it was me because I'm the only one here now. <laughs> Jory went to work this morning. Um, anyway, so I am going to eat my little sweet treat. And I guess the next time I will check in with you guys will be when I open the Ernie Advents downstairs. I will see you guys real soon. Okie dokie. So it's like almost 3 o'clock. I have been picking up and cleaning and eating and sorting and filtering and adulting all day so far. And I'm done. So it's time to unbox my advent yarns. <laughs> yeah, after this, I'm totally finally going to go take my shower and chill out. I even have dinner like 90% made up there. So all I need to do is finish cooking the cabbage through and the egg roll in a bowl. And drop my egg in there. So, first up, fingering weight. And we have, ooh. So, this is a hand dye yarn. I am not sure he, what the original project was for this. It, there's also a pink and gray one. And then they came with like a solid pink and a solid blue. Um, they weren't for socks, though. It was for something else. So it was like 50 grams of the solid and then 150 grams of the variegated. It was meant for a specific project that I never did. And I'm not sure what I ended up actually doing with it. So here's my worsted weight. Where are we going to go after we had taupe, neon green with navy blue? Today we have... Really? Come on. My creasing's not that good, y'all. <laughs> okay, well, at least this is kind of consistent. I'm only worried that we're front-loading these weird colors in here. Because, like, I know there's, like, pastel variegated pinks and aqua blue and some neons. <laughs> um, so what I did is I just loaded everything into the bags and then at random came through and grabbed one out and stuck a label on it. So, like, I didn't at all. Right there, you can really see the color. So, it's like a hunter green with some black. Um, I didn't at all check the order of these. So, so I said, this is going to get really interesting because I promise you it is not nearly all neutrals. Although we seem to be front-loading kind of these darker shades, even though there's a whole bunch of stuff like this in there. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go take my shower, and then I'm going to get to work on my 20-gram fingering weight mini and my 30-gram worsted weight mini. And just for the record, like, adding each of these colors and their black um, finishing row stuff, like, literally, I think this takes me, like half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. But doing this takes me like the entire night. It's so funny. Anyway, I will see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys. So I got my green added in and it's black band added in. So that's what my poncho looks like so far. And it's, oh, it's showing up much more higher contrast on camera than it is in person but I do have my first little bit of the blue coming in here up against the so this reads back and forth between blue and purple and it is sparkly but um it, it's really weird it's a really weird yarn um even when I made it into the scarf earlier this year like it reads both blue and purple so <laughs> You're not seeing things that each picture, this looks like a different color. But this is the blue and gray that I got today in my advent calendar. So that's where we are on that. Uh, it's been a little bit busier today, so I really haven't had that much time. But I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight for now to y'all. It's 8 o'clock. I'm going to smoosh my video together real quick and get it uploaded for y'all. And I'm going to keep working on this for a little while. We're watching... A basketball game in the living room but I did want to come back here and film real quick to show you guys what 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 is what so 
I love you guys, and I hope you have had an amazing day so far, and I will talk to y'all real soon.